I'm struggling to know what to put that in. And I know a lot of you are going to be screaming down the camera going, you fucking idiot, it's that. The logical thing is that I need something that adapts that into that. Hello, welcome back guys to Carmad Elliot, another video from me. You're probably bored by now, but the fact that you're watching this tells me I'm not that boring. Uh, I've got an exciting video to make today that will either go well or not well at all. Uh, installing my new black grills. I cannot stand bloody chrome. Horrible shit. So uh, I'm going to get the car in. Um, they only arrived today, so I want to get them straight on, get rid of that fucking chrome, um, and show you the process of me doing it. So um, enjoy. Okay, nothing is ever a task without some tea. So, just like the detailing videos, I've got tea. But unlike the, the detailing videos, I don't look like shit. Well, that's subjective, but hey. Um, before I get the car in, just going to do an unboxing. Obviously, no bullshit here. I've already unboxed these, alright? But, for the camera and for the, for the effect of YouTube, you've got to unbox them again and pretend to, haven't you? So let's do it. Oh, oh, for fuck's sake. It's a nice touch. Little M2 air freshener. It's Auto ID. So these are from Auto ID. They're not M Performance grills because I'm not spending hundreds of pounds on some freaking black grills. Put that over there and go away. That's left over from detail and that can go over there. These are from Auto ID. They're less money. It's the same damn thing. They're black grills. They look amazing, I've already seen them. So, I'm gonna unwrap them now. Get to this thing. Right, showtime. Come on, get off. How's that for an unboxing? Look at that. Mmm. Glossy. Oh, fuck. Oh, they'll have to go there then, won't they? Beautiful. Right. Time to get the car in. you bunch of legends as we can see we've got these hideous looking things on here right now uh, I need to somehow figure out how to get them off I'm not that prepared all I will say is judging by the old ones there's a series of well judging by the new ones sorry there's a series of clips and those clips obviously press into something so that must mean these clips need to be released to get the damn things out so, I'm going to assume I can't get into it from here, because, no, there's no reach there. I'm going to pop the bonnet, and I think you got uh, the ability to, to pull the bump back a bit. It's a bit flexible, it's only plastic. Get your hand in there and sort of push the clips in. So I'm going to try and do that now, see what happens. Don't forget, T. Mm. Too hot this time. Damn it. Now, if you're a poser, two pulls of the bonnet catch, because you probably never pulled it before. Right. Oh, hello. Let's just ogle that engine for a minute, shall we? Mmm. Mmm, right. How do we get in there then? 
Oh, there we go. Okay. So underneath here is a series of what look like torx screws. Right, I need torx. Well, this is a well-used one. You know something's commonly used if your bloody torx uh, thing is well used. So this is a T30. I've got high hopes. Yes! My theory worked, people. Okay, right now, I'm struggling. I'm being a dumb fuck. I'm struggling to know what to put that in. And I know a lot of you are going to be screaming down the camera going, you fucking idiot, it's that. The logical thing is that I need something that adapts that into that. But you look at... No. So the only thing that fits into is this little bastard. And that don't fit in there. So I need something wider. The only thing i found that works is this big boy. He goes in there, but what the fuck goes in there? Except that bastard. I'm not using that. I might have no choice though. I genuinely might not have any choice. Oh, fuck it. Let's go back. And just so that you guys can see what I'm on about, you see these torque screws here? Looks like we're going to have to undo all of those behind that weather strip. to get these screws out on a cup of tea and all that going off. Off. Cold. I'm going to undo them clips there. Let's get that out of the way a bit more. That's a bit annoying, that, isn't it? There's some little clips there. Just trying to be careful with it, you know? Looks like it's going to be a bit fiddly. Yeah. Right, so there's like tabs you've got to push down. Fight. Oh. I'm just very slowly pushing down the tabs to try and get it to release away. Doesn't help, I've got massive hands. Currently with this bit here, because it's quite tight in there. So there's a clip about here. Let's try and get that. Bit. 
This is a bastard thing to do. Right, let me tell you, that isn't much fun. Hands are dirty. I've actually got a little bit of blood there as well. Basically, try and get in, A, the limited access you have there, and B, into like the bottom clips and things is really difficult because they're very stiff clips. So you're trying to basically push in on these clips, but you have to do every single one. And only then will the bastard come out. So I'm gonna try and do the other one now, but, but if you've got big hands like me, be prepared for a battle. Perfect. Right, before I do anything else, I'm gonna clean all this shit up because there's a little bit of dirt around here. I'm a little OCD and I don't know if I can clean these up, but I'm gonna try. I would wrap these sort of strut bar things because that's what a lot of people do. Problem is, I don't know what color I'd wrap them and the plans I have for other color changes and that aren't for a while, so I don't really want to make it mismatched and right now I think the black is okay. In the future I'll probably do something different, but uh, it's all right for now. Just using a bit of all-purpose cleaner, by the way. Right, my next problem is, I bought an M2. There's an M2 badge on here. There isn't on there. And I can see that these slats are different to those. I've got a little bit of a issue I need to overcome here where the M2 badge can't be transferred onto the auto ID grill. Um, I've, behind the scenes of the camera, experimented because the clips look exactly the same as the OEM ones. Uh, and I've experimented with uh, this one here, which is the, the left hand grill and you're able to actually pop out uh, all of the little clips that hold uh, so there's a separation here between the rim so rim that sounds bad the frame to the slats and so there's like a there's a clip here a clip here 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 and, and you can separate it. So what I've done is put the auto ID frame on the OEM slats, which has meant I've proven that that works so I can do it on the other one. So essentially you're just left with um, an auto ID slat and an OEM frame, which is fine, because I don't care about these. I just care about black frame and I still want the M2 badge because I do get over it. Uh, okay, so I'm just going to quickly show you how I did it. So I've left this one as original to show you how I was doing this. So in order to separate it, I was carefully using the uh, one, one arm of the plier to essentially get into these clips and as you go around and so start on this one here that's protruding uh what is that so that's the inside there's one clip here that's very visible from the outside that's where i started so I started there and just go around carefully pulling the tabs open and try and push the frame out as you go around It's a lot of fart arsing around just to get an M2 badge to show, I know, but I don't like I did tr try it on the car without the M2 badge and I didn't like it. Each to their own, eh? You're probably going to be in the comments going, hey, dickhead, you should have just put it on with a brand M2 badge. Okay, done. 
So that's our auto ID one, we'll put that to one side. That can go over here as well. Oops, shit. And then we're going to marry up our BMW original grill with our auto ID frame and just snaps together really nice and easy. Right, in terms of actually putting them back in, this is the easiest bit of all, you just clip them back in. That's done. And the final one. Beautiful. Thank you for watching. The finished product I think looks absolutely fantastic. I'm ultra happy with how smart and aggressive they look. It's really lifted the front end of the car up for only a small amount of money, to be honest, 70, 80 pounds. Auto ID, you do lots of small little modifications and diffusers and splitters and mirrors and all sorts of things of a very high quality. So do check out their website, have a look, see if there's something for your car. I think you, you will find something. Um, and I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll be bringing to you some more content as and when I feel like it might be something you, you might want to watch. And feel free to like if you want to, subscribe if you fancy, and comment if you can be bothered. Um, you'll do what you want to do, and hopefully the, the content makes you want to watch more and makes you want to interact. Uh, if it doesn't, I'll be quite interested to know why. Maybe I'm just annoying and boring. Who knows? Anyway, have a great rest of your week, great rest of your day. I'll catch you on the next video. See you later.